Hello everyone, this is Fi. We're checking out Sypho, and this is a game I have played before. Um, not recently though, I, I, I've actually play tested this more than once in the past, but I, I actually went back and checked and it was a whopping three years ago uh, since I last played this, so um, it's been in development since then. It is uh, in early access on Steam and everything, um, but I'm still working on it, so I figured I'd uh, take a look at it after all this time, see what's different. Um, should be quite interesting. I do have the game page open here. Uh, this is a special Demo Day 37 build. Or, I'm sorry, Demo Day 39. <laughs> uh, but it goes on to say, these are things that have changed since the last Demo Day 37 submission. Take a look. Um, these are things that don't necessarily mean much to me because I haven't been following the game's progress all along, but it does say the game now uses constraint-based verlay soft body simulation characters, have fun in aquarium, all parts unlocked there for full experimentation, post glitches. Crothan, which is the bone slash body environments, use new sprites. Whirlpools allow choosing one out of two environments to dive to. Sizzler, the stun zooid, now deals damage to mucked, the uh, slowed down by muck targets. Um, okay, so targets that are slowed down by muck. Uh, lots of other changes, and then it has a link to a full change list, etc. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a special build, I guess, it's, uh, which means it's not the same as the one currently on Steam, from what I understand. So it should be interesting to look into. So I've not seen anything past this screen. Um, this is just how the game launches, of course. Let's go ahead and check out the options menu here. It's a little new UI uh, compared to when I played it all those years ago. We got gameplay, got audio graphics. Uh, I guess this is the versioning. Interesting. <laughs> Privacy. Um, oh, okay. So it links you out to a message from Unity about data privacy. Interesting. Uh, okay. Uh, gameplay. Let's check this out. Movement type. Twin stick absolute. Relative auto turn tank. Interesting. Uh, I'm probably going to use the keyboard and mouse, I think. I do have the gamepad. Actually, it's connected right now. Maybe. Maybe I should have disconnected that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, it'll be there if I, if I want to grab it, I suppose. I'm not sure if I will or not. Uh, up, down, left, right. Strafe is shift. Change movement type is M. That's interesting. Dive is space. Toggle growth mode is the tab key. Grow zooid pipette. Q. Oh, grown zooid. Ungrow zooid is shift. Which is the same as strafe. I, I, I guess that's if, if you're in the in the growth mode, maybe? That kind of thing. Growth rotate R, multi spawn shift. Aquarium tar toggle. Oh, this scrolls quite fast. Like, really fast. Uh, <laughs> interesting. <clears throat> All right, so in any case, I think uh, hmm, maybe I'll click on this just in case there's anything <laughs> like like old data that's going to be funky. I don't know. I, I did that anyways. Let's check out audio real quick. 99% um, is a little weird. Movement being 105% is a little weird. Why why does it go up to 105%? Um, hmm, okay, so that could be down to... I don't know, maybe it's just something funny with the, the current build, or it could be... Again, like what I mentioned about the data, like old data on the machine or something. I don't, I don't really know, but these values are a little odd, I guess. Uh, graphics. All right, 143 percent. That must be from old settings, I, I assume. Go ahead and can I put this? All right. I mean, at least it's not in fractions, but it might be nice if I can. I don't know. Maybe I could double click or something to default this, so I don't have to like search for that magic number. <clears throat> Full screen is on, uh, VSync is on, which is probably fine for now. Actually, maybe I'll turn it off. If the if the uh, tearing is bad, I'll turn it back on. I guess I didn't see anything happen though when I when I switched that off. I don't know if maybe it'll. Apply when I click back or something. Brightness is at zero percent. Bloom. All this stuff is on. Particles are on. Residue amount. I don't know what that is, but growth mode camera rotation snap thirty two. The heck? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, 
yeah, so I switched off these things supposedly, but usually like the screen flickers or something when you do that, I, I, I'm pretty sure, so it's a little weird that that didn't happen. It doesn't look like there's any tearing that I can see, so I don't know if that even like is working. There's no like apply button in here. Actually, oh right, so this is in this is in borderless window mode. <laughs> so that's why this the setting isn't going to affect anything. Um, certainly on Windows 7, anyways, uh, there's always going to be VSync if it's in borderless window mode. So. Um, yeah, so this is kind of pointless at the moment. I, I don't think it's going to matter too much for this game, but um, without having a, an option for exclusive full screen, uh, I can't actually get VSync off. <laughs> so that's why that's not doing anything. <clears throat> so yeah, I definitely suggest adding that option in here. This is borderless window mode full screen, so it's not, not the same thing. Uh, we got the aquarium where we can mess about, but I'm just gonna click on play for this. Uh, this guy's still zooming around. New campaign, breed, Advena, creatures not out of this world, designed to adapt and kill movement suits, go in any movement direction but lack top speed. All oh, right, okay, uses spikes and poison to deal with foes, select adopt a zooid to keep, zooid to keep poop. What? Play tutorial. Um, okay, this is a little funny. All right. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. Progress. Zoids. Progress. Okay, okay, I think... So I think this is like the progress towards unlocking this or whatever. And then this is showing like what zoids are unlocked already. Um, yeah, so the way this is laid out, it's, it's not that friendly for, like, new players, necessarily. Um, like, there's stuff down here, I don't really understand what this means. This is just kind of over here. Um, it, it doesn't immediately read as, like, this is a selecting, selecting, like, a type of Bruid, like, uh, uh what'd I say? Selecting a, a breed of Zooid. <laughs> um, so you can make that more obvious, like instead of putting new campaign here, maybe just put like select breed or something at the top. That'll help if nothing else and be a small change. And then um, I would actually, uh, this is very subtle, but I was thinking you could move this over to the left a little bit. It's all kind of smooshed to the right of the screen. I don't know what this is even meaning down here. I don't know why that's there, but play tutorial is just kind of hidden down here. It's kind of smushed up with whatever this stuff is. Um, this stuff is, I don't know if this was not meant to be unlocked already, or if this is just already, this is just part of selecting. It's probably just showing me what zooids are part of the breed or whatever. I don't know. Let's go ahead and click on begin. Move the WSD and oh, this is kind of rendering the text over the text. It's a little silly. WSD in the mouse, you can zoom in and out with a scroll wheel. That's okay. So this text is kind of in the world here. Why am I spinning? I don't think that's supposed to happen. Wait. <laughs> um, just in case, I just disconnected the the gamepad. Um. I'm fairly confident that is not supposed to happen. It's still spinning though. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> hmm. This is food used to grow, it also heals. Current nutrition is represented by the orb at the bottom left corner. It's right here, 11 out of 15, and then we can. I'm, I'm preempting this, but in growth mode, I, I hit tab preemptively because I remember. <laughs> in growth mode, you spend nutrition to grow new parts called zooids. Each zooid has a unique function. Movement zooids increase your movement, uh, whatever. Select and grow a movement zooid to continue. Okay, I already went out of the screen here, though, so it kind of lost the context. I was meaning to have a little bit funny if you kind of land on the, on the edge of the... Wait. Oh, it's supposed to... It's supposed to 
it's spring like that. It's kind of weird. Uh, press tab. <laughs> All right, and grow movement suited, so. Yeah, this is spinning. I don't know what is going on. Um, yeah, I don't know of anything connected that could be causing that. I guess up here, this is very small. It's like mushed all the way up in the corner here. Usually you want to kind of pad out things a bit um, so that they're not quite so squished up against the edges of the screen. I did put the... I know you can control like the size of the UI and stuff, but um, it's a little funny how that's going there. Wow, this definitely feels different from before. Hmm. This is kind of confusing. Okay, there's these little little tick marks here. I think maybe we have more positions than we used to for placing these. Um, so it doesn't feel like it actually is like grid based anymore. Uh, so the underlying grid, I guess maybe doesn't matter, but it's a little harder to kind of to understand, I guess, exactly, because there's like more um, fine control and in, in the little ticks you can place it all. And it's a little harder for the for your brain to kind of understand what what angle you're placing things on and stuff. I don't know if that made sense the way I tried to describe that. Um, Right, so this is a movement zooid, which, let's read the thing, any direction, so I don't think it actually matters with this particular one, the orientation of it. It does have a dash, which I think is supposed to go forward. Um, why is this, there's like a pip that was green. I think that's called a pip. I don't know why that was green, but let's go ahead and put that on the back. Energy and skills, we got a little jingle. It's kind of weird how this is still, like, oh, it's rendering over this tutorial window here. Um, orb in the lower right corner is your energy. Skills use energy, use dash to swim faster. Current task, continue forward. So again, this is kind of mushed all the way up in the top right. It's a little hard to see that. Like, I really have to kind of almost, like, turn my head towards the... Oh, no. So, okay, there's actually a current here. Uh, it's a little subtle, but... And then the... It's not shift. What is the... Is it mouse one? Mouse one is the dash. So now I'm not spinning. What's the deal with the spinning? Is that actually intended? <laughs> Are you supposed to spin like that? That's very strange. It definitely felt like a bug to me, but... Um, okay, so it, it doesn't dash in the direction that you are pointing. It dashes in the direction that you are moving currently. Which is good because that gives you a lot more movement options. Um, but on the other hand, it is tied to eight directional movement. Maybe if I was using a gamepad, it wouldn't, it, you know, that'd be different, but it's a little unfortunate that you can't do it in kind of an arbitrary direction here because that's kind of the game kind of seems built around this sort of um, moving in arbitrary directions. Uh, okay, but well, there's an egg thing. We grow a combat zooid. Why is it? Okay, so. kind of goofy like I'm not moving the mouse it just kind of keeps doing these sort of silly rotation things when I'm switching into the into the build mode here it, I mean I can tell it's kind of on these springs and stuff but I would say there's a little bit of a bug it's kind of like as soon as you hit the button it just keeps rotating the way it was rotating and then you get some of this weird effects where it's just kind of like why why would why would it spin around backwards like that i don't think that's what you want um i would consider that probably a bug but let's go ahead and build our little spike have your cursor to see skill description i guess down here yeah this does it does seem a little bit small i know i can make it bigger but i, I think the thing that really bothers me is how mushed into the the very edges of the screen it is i know you want to like leave the view open for like not to cover up the action and stuff but um hmm. 
click skill to rebind it. Drag to reorder skills. So I can't currently do that, which is a little bit annoying. Um, that's a subtle thing, but leave growth mode and use skills to reach the end of the So I have to like... Oh shoot, current... okay, I lost one. I like how it told me the current one so I could like press that again. Um, but yeah, it, it's sort of mildly annoying that I couldn't do what it was telling me until I like clicked off of the thing so that the directions disappeared. Um, I have to kind of manually zoom in and out here, so I think it's mouse 2 is the pokey bit. Oh. Wait, did I take damage? What is the sound? There's like red chunks coming out of that that doesn't really... Look... What are the clocks? Reach the end of the level. I'm, I'm confused. I'm... I'm I... wait. Oh. Health 10 out of 10. Okay, so if I go into the grow, grow mode and hover over something, I can see the health, but it's like... It's so small, this seems like something really important, isn't it? Like, of all things, you should know... you should be able to know what your health is. Right? So I'd, I, would th I would think you'd want to prioritize that visually, you know? Um, sorry if you hear noise in the back of my cat is having a good time. Uh, there's also some construction going on nearby in case you hear any of that. Sorry about that, but um, adrenaline power up. 0 0.4 seconds plus 50% cooldown recovery. I guess that's what the <laughs> the clock is supposed to indicate. That's kind of... Mm, that doesn't that doesn't read well to me. Where it, And I don't know where it came from. Did I pick up a power up for this? Okay, yeah, it just ran out. Um, hmm. I... Did that do damage? This is... Possessed plus five max health? Wait. Ability dash, effects, possessed, energy regeneration, power up. Okay, so I guess I got a power... Okay, so yeah, some of this feedback is very confusing to me. I don't really understand <laughs> what's happening. Um, I think you could just make it clear to the player what actually these things are doing. Um, I feel like the controls are... I don't remember very well like how how the controls were and stuff in previous versions, but it's really kind of floppy, like it, uh, it's like a lot of kind of springiness, which is just not very accurate, which, I mean, obviously can contribute to sort of a physicality element, but, um, I guess I have reduced cooldown now. Um, but yeah, it, it does feel like it could be kind of annoying when you're, like, trying to, trying to aim accurately and, and your little, uh, your little pokey thing that you just want to kind of shoot forwards is just kind of flopping around back and forth. <laughs> it's not it's not very accurate, I guess. Uh, you can now grow all zooid types. Structure zooids allow you to grow larger. Utility zooids provide helpful skills. Manipulate grown zooids twos. Ungrowing returns the nutrition cost of the zooid less if zooid is hurt. Right. Zooids can be repositioned without being ungrown. Nice. Happy accidents. Okay, you've completed the tutorial. Um, right. So we press spacebar, I believe, for this part. So I have to remember the. This is kind of funny. So right mouse button to rebind. Wait, what? That's what it says, right? rebind key, but that's not working. Do I have to go into the grow mode? Okay, so if I... apparently I have to go into grow mode and then click left mouse button down here to rebind that, because right mouse button is not doing anything. So I want that to be M1 and then I want... 
All right, left mouse button. That to be M2. Okay, a little funny. I, I don't. Oh shoot! <laughs> I said that to tab because I just want to like escape from the the menu here. All right, yeah. So I can I can like click on these to activate them. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense to be able to go down here and click on these, although it does also trigger my my mouse one bind. I wonder, maybe... wait. Yeah, maybe you don't want it to do that. If you're clicking on one of these down here, I don't think you want it to trigger your mouse one bind. But also, like, it makes sense to have be able to just kind of right-click down here without having to go into the build mode, I think. But what is... All right, this window just kind of stayed. All right, so it looks like a little bit of a bug there. So if I if I hover over this, I get the little pop-up window. Um, if I then hit tab and then I move the cursor out here, okay, this time it didn't happen. I don't know. Sometimes this little window stays up there, and it probably shouldn't. Okay. Uh, hold spacebar apparently to dive here. It would probably be nice to, to tell the player that. Now we're in level one. Okay, so this is all background, apparently. I got a, the lighter parts of the foreground, apparently. So he has some, I don't know if there's some kind of power-up that's making a noise currently. It can grow more. I didn't think to do that. <laughs> um, oh, this is, this is... I guess that's the foreground. I don't know what you call the these are these are walls. Let's call them walls and then there's background and foreground. <laughs> it's a little hard to tell what parts are things that you can I guess they have holes in them. Maybe that's some sort of visual communication there, but I have to take the time to like kill the extra parts here in order to eat them. Might be nice if they just kind of decompose or something. Just kind of turn into food on their own. Maybe. I don't know. That's a uh, that's a big boy. All right, so we we've got 12 out of 15. I think 15 is just the cap. Wealth, 21 out of 21. I have no idea what that means. You haven't lost wealth. Eating snacks from hunted zooids will not provide nutrition. Don't understand that. Um, language there's a little confusing. I don't know what wealth means, so not helpful to me. Uh, we've got a squirter. Sprays poison. Cost three, this costs five, this is six. I'm thinking more movement is good. Oh, okay, the cost increases as you build more of these. Hmm. We can just move these around at will, that's nice. Make things nice and <laughs> uh, symmetrical here. Squirt is three. I can't squeeze that in here. Um, Structure Zuid connects other Zuids, increases weapon damage, and enhances Zuid healing abilities. Okay, I don't think that was there before, the, the way it affects connected things. Affects neighbors with acidic metabolism, plus one melee power, plus one ranged power, plus one regeneration efficiency. Interesting. Ability flex, relax or stiffen xenoplate connections, changing their stiffness. What is that? Would that be an activated ability? But it's not... Oh, I don't actually have one of these yet. Well, that, that would explain things. <laughs> I was like, that is, that's not, that's my head thing or whatever. Um, hmm. Okay, so interesting how this has the effect to boost the neighboring Zooids here.
For now I'm going to try this. Um, one thing I'm wondering, okay, so this is, I think, something I was wondering about before in, in the past is the idea, like, you can you can sell these off and you can also move them around at will, but you, I don't know if there's, like, I think at one point I suggested adding, like, a little bin or something so I could just, like, move this somewhere and then, like, for instance, put a structure thing here and then move that back onto this without incurring some kind of cost by, like, selling stuff. Um, that really seems necessary, like, with this, the way I just built this, um, <laughs> like, I would have to do that because there's no, no empty spaces left to build on, right? Um, so that seems like a nest like, sort of a necessity. I think you can sell the ones that you've just placed before you leave the build mode without incurring a cost. How do you even sell things again? I forgot. I think that was kind of taught out of context, so I don't... Okay, right, right mouse button to ungrow for three, ungrow for six, which I, th I think is... Is that just the full the full cost of it? Is there no no cost penalty associated with it? Because I, I know that this is this is a four, for instance, but I think it's because I already built one. Um, so that's nice if that's the case, because then I don't have to worry about like if I go out of the build menu or whatever. Um, if I want to change my mind, I can do that without incurring costs, as long as I don't take damage, of course, and that kind of thing. Uh, I also don't know like if I build. Wait, this is. I have four. I have two. I built two and it went up by one. Hmm. I don't know if the if the sale cost ever goes up. Like if I spend, if I have like a million squirters and the price keeps going up and one, and one costs ten or something, are they always going to have the same base, like three sale price? Does that not scale with it? I'm not sure about that. <clears throat> a little confused there. Uh, but in any case, I think I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm kind of happy with this configuration, but again, I don't know like how to how to manage it when I want to add on to this afterwards. So it's kind of I don't know. A little bit more movement. I'm just kind of wondering. Okay, so I thought there's walls here. <laughs> I think I think you could do to. Uh, I don't know, just darken a little bit more some of this this background stuff or something. I mean, it looks nice, but it's just a little hard to read where the actual walls are here. I don't have a lot of damage output because I only have one damaging thing, but this guy's not... Oh, I forgot about the, uh, what's... Does it say O? Is that bound to the O key? Or is that, that zero? Tell me it's not zero. Oh. Oh, okay, so always I think this is a debug thing. Oh gosh darn it. Wait, Verlay Iterations 1? No, it won't go back up. Wait, P. Okay, P goes the other way. Um, what was this at before? <laughs> okay, um, I don't know what this was at before, I'm sorry. I, apparently I, I discovered you debug. Uh, but why, why does it say oh or whatever? What is this actually bound to currently? Or is that Q? That, that must be a Q. It's really hard to read that. Okay, okay, it's Q. I was afraid you were going to do like number keys and start with the number zero, which is obviously on the right side of the keyboard instead of the left, so... Uh, okay, Q is fine. I just couldn't read what it actually said there. I think I poisoned that guy. Partially. Um, yeah, it's hard to see the energy. I really have to look all the way down there. I guess that's probably why I cranked up the, uh, the UI scale before I played this last. Die, you fool. Thank you. DNA connect collected. So the Verlay stuff, I don't actually know what that means. Um, 
but I noticed like when I turned it down that it got super wiggly. So I'm thinking maybe... Maybe some of the physical wobbliness is directly related to some of these new changes that they've made, which... Oh, what even is that? Which might indicate that... The, uh, sort of this... Accuracy that I was kind of mentioning before, maybe it's just sort of... Recent changes that are affecting that, I don't know. I remember it always be kind of a physical feeling and, and wobbly, but... I'm not sure if it was exactly like this. Alright, got him right in the head or whatever. I can't see stuff behind this, really. That's a little strange. I kind of wish the boost was like a continuous thing instead of a cooldown. It'd be nice if you could just hold it down or something. Just use up the energy. Um, we've got eight, eight things for growth. The, this is all... I think these suck your health. And then this uh, electric, of course, kind of stuns you. I think these green bits are good for getting food out of. There's a lot of spiky bits, though. That's kind of sketchy. Oh, nice. I got some kind of uh, speed boost. Oh, wait. I can just go in here, right? This doesn't automatically make me go down, right? <laughs> this attack is not not the best. Sorry about the phone notifications. I forgot to turn that sound off. Uh, yeah, so this is kind of going a little bit slow going, trying to poke these things to death, chase them down. Um, I find myself wishing they'd die a little faster. I know that's not necessarily <laughs> like the the whole time to kill issue it can be a. A sketchy one because if, if you can die really fast then it's not necessarily very fun uh, but I guess my current armament is just kind of weak I'm not, I haven't really been using the, the acid as much as I probably should here either I can't see what's going on here. Okay, I guess I killed the guy. I got some DNA. Oh, taking damage on the spiky bit. I don't know if there's bits floating in here and I have to stab to pop open. I can't really see, unfortunately. Um, oh, wait, there's a wall right here. I thought this was the background. See, so yeah, again, that's, that's a little annoying when you can't really tell. <clears throat> um, let's go into grow mode, I guess. We'll... Okay, so we actually have what appears to be a health meter here, so. I guess that's that issue. I didn't realize that before, but that <laughs> that shows the health. That's helpful. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Apparently if you drag and drop, it just disappears. I don't know if I got... I think I got the, the nutrition back from it. Um, hmm. Okay. That's... Interesting. So again, I don't know, is it possible to incur some kind of a penalty for for selling things? Because in this case, it, it seems like if you can just drag and drop, uh, like off to, to sell it, it seems like that'd be really easy to do accidentally. So I'm not really sure. I don't really know the details here. It'd be good to know the details. <clears throat> um... But yeah, what, what does this say again? Four, for four, and that's one of these guys. It says cost is six. Now I just sold one, but this didn't go down, I don't think. Oh, it did this time. Hmm. Now it costs five, even though I sold it for four, I think. See, so yeah, I guess there are, are costs associated with selling things off. Um, 
I'm exceeding the capacity there, that's okay, but yeah, so I, I would definitely be careful. Ooh, this is interesting. We've got weird stuff now. I wonder why you'd want to space that out further. I don't really know, but I guess we have that option. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, so like a lot of restructuring stuff, if you want to do dramatic restructuring, the fact that you can just drag and drop to, to move to different places is great. Oh, I didn't even realize you could do... Oh, I see. It makes a little segment connecting them. So I guess this has to do with the the flexibility that's in there. Hmm, interesting. Um, but yeah, if you can do kind of the, these dramatic restructuring things, I think you need like a little a little tool bin or whatever where you can just kind of drag and drop some in there and then like grab it back from there again later. This is interesting. So I might guess that if you put it further away that it has the ability to be more flexible or whatever. That seems kind of intuitive, I guess. But I'm not really sure. I'm just making assumptions, so... Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to do <laughs> with, the, with the build mode here. I've got 24. I've got lots of stuff I can build with. Um, I do want to put more offensive stuff on the front here. I don't know if I want to... Wait, what? Okay, I guess that's symmetrical. <laughs> I wish I could rotate this. Isn't there a... I, th I thought I remember that it said there was a button to rotate or something. It was like Q or something to rotate in the grow mode. Because it is a little bit funny when it's off at an angle like this. If you want to keep everything symmetrical, sometimes it's a little hard to judge which position is the symmetry position there. <clears throat> so I guess I'll just try to stick more of these guys. Uh, we've got enough to buy two, it looks like. I guess straightforward is kind of nice. Um, oh, we don't have any of the movement zoids now. So I'm going to be super slow, unless I like sell these. Uh, I don't really want to sell anything. Uh, let's just see what happens. All right, we, we still have the boost. I guess that's tied to my main thing here. So I'm slow, but I have a lot more offensive ability. I guess there was a power-up in there or something. Um, looks like it just applies to everything. So I can go down, but I, I wonder if I want to keep hanging out on this. I'm trying to figure out which, which parts of these are parts that you can or can't move over. Um, yeah, it feels like you should stay on, on the same floor until you've kind of exhausted its resources, right? I mean, taking on a giant guy might not be a good idea, but... Slowly trudging about. What is this green bit on the bottom of the screen? Is that indicating something off screen? Oh, okay. Well, that would be good to know. Um, so we've got four. How do we only have four? I thought we had three and then picked up. Maybe it's just a power up that I picked up or something. I think I can go through here. It looks like I think that's a little power up and what 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 is happening? Wait. Oh no, I'm at full health. Uh, hmm. All right, weird feedback. I, I touched like this. It looks like there's like a tentacle in the background or whatever. Is that? That is touching me, but I don't know why it was making this sound. And then uh, there's red bits coming out of my my guys, which it doesn't really look like blood exactly, but it doesn't it doesn't read as something positive either. All right, so these are all physically active things. Uh, there's some little power up or whatever that gets stuck in there. But yeah, some of the sounds and feedback and stuff is really quite misleading in my opinion. <clears throat> Looks like I can just hold mouse 2 down. That's kind of nice. I mean, <laughs> I kind of said that before. What I meant was like you could use it continuously. Uh, it'd be nice if you could use it continuously rather than a cooldown, but you can at least hold the, hold the button down and just use it over and over again like that, I guess. Um, so yeah, I think a lot of these are just power-ups. I'm not getting any food. 
It's weird how much they look almost exactly the same. <sighs> At this point, it's kind of like I'm getting tired, so it's like I guess I should just dive. Um, this is a little unfortunate. I think I think you should have some kind of a way for the player to get some kind of idea of whether or not they should go down. Because I don't really get get that impression playing the game like uh, I feel like I should just keep exploring you know but I'm not actually accomplishing anything when I do so I don't I don't know what the the right choice is there Carthanos clench oh right into the boss huh what the heck this is definitely different from before it's just like rigidly <laughs> inside of the the level here that's very interesting I think that's like a speed power-up. Um, oh, I guess we got it. Well, I guess I don't want to waste it, but... Uh... What do I do? Just... Uh-oh. Alright, those... are disabling things, but... I don't see... Wait, maybe those are... This kind of works as a pause of sorts, but I can't, I can't, like... figure out what the other creatures body parts are or what they do like I can't like cover the mouse over them to see what they do or anything like that so I don't know if the the idea is that you just figure it out through uh, experimentation or something but it's a little weird I mean these are visually hard to kind of discern from one, one another like uh, this thing here and this thing here they look r really quite similar so it's not the easiest thing for like a new player to get the sense of like learning oh no those guys shoot little tendrils out. Wait, which are the ones that, that do the electricity? I guess this one does the zap. Is that correct? This one does the zap. So yeah, just like I said, I, I, I didn't really realize that this wasn't the same thing because <laughs> they look so similar. Um, so I guess the idea is I can just sort of... I'm actually too big to... Uh-oh, he's sucking me. Wow, he, he really holds on to you once he gets a hold of you. That's weird. I couldn't, like, get away. Um, I don't know, maybe I, maybe I should use the little dash button or something? But... Yeah, he really gets a hold of you, but I, I don't know. Am I supposed to be a smaller... <laughs> a smaller size here? I forgot about this. Let me try that real quick. I'm pressing E. It's just like spamming this rapid fire. Is it supposed to be like a toggle? I don't see anything happening when I press E, so I don't know. I don't know what that does. And if it's if it is a toggle, there's nothing to suggest its state one way or the other. So I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Unfortunately, um, yeah. I, I pff, only thing I can think of to do is like I guess I don't actually need these right now, anyways. But um, maybe I don't know if I can make this narrower. neighbors so this only boosts neighbors so presumably only things that are attached to it a lot of stats and stuff um but presumably you could, like if i put all three of these with one of these behind it i think it'll take extra it'll get like extra boost from it right i guess this can only attach to one at a time though I think that's how that works. So it's not like, um, yeah, like like the I I think I think the the spiky bit only has one attach point. I guess is the way to say it. So I can't actually bunch up a, a bunch of these around one of them to make it super strong, which is kind of disappointing. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but I think it is stronger when it's on this versus on the center body part, right? Plus one melee power, plus one ranged power, plus one regeneration efficiency. Okay, so this is plus one ranged power that's not the same as plus one range, which is kind of what I thought it was, but I guess I didn't read it closely enough. Um, so yeah, it does one more damage, <clears throat> and 
and it has more regeneration efficiency. Uh, but apart from that, I guess, um, what are we going to do here? I can try to... Oh, can I... Why does this want to rotate that way? I don't understand why it wants to rotate. Can I... Oh, so I can press the R key to rotate this. Interesting. Alright, that's useful. Um, it's a little weird how I wanted to automatically rotate, but um, I guess the fact that I could just spam R until it was right is a lot better than nothing. So, uh, I guess I want to be thin. Uh, in theory, I could just put this like on the back, right? Um, do something like this. <laughs> Why not, I guess, uh, for now. I've got 10 of these. I, I really should have a a movement thing, but I don't think it matters actually with this boss right now, so... There's a power-up over there, I guess. Um, oh, I feel so weak with only one little thing in the front here. Maybe I should have put... Well, no, because the two in the back kind of don't really go forward properly, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's better. I'll try and do this the goofy way. Don't waste my time, boss. Apparently I can get a lot of food from this, but once I get too much food, it's just going to... Oh, this isn't actually food. Oh gosh, it's... something got me. Oh wait, isn't it? Oh, I, I think when you get the little ones, they don't count as like one whole food. It's like a partial food or something like that. I think that's what I remember. I don't know what the red at the top of the screen is. It doesn't look quite right. Like it's not even... It's actually a little offset from the top few pixels there. I don't really know what that's supposed to be showing. Maybe that's some some kind of bug or whatever, but another one of these little things trying to grab me here. No! Oh gosh, this is awkward. Okay, so I, can, I think the boost does help. I don't know, what, what even is that? Wait. How do I see the power up? Where's the power up effect? Is it the acidic metabolism? Damage power up. Okay. So this is a damage power up. It's hard to. <laughs> there's so much text, it's hard to find what you're looking for in the middle of everything here. Plus one melee power, plus 10% melee power. Okay, interesting. Um, I guess I'll try not to waste that. Oh, click on the wrong button. That's not helpful. So that's about to die. Oh gosh, what is even happening? Wait, what did it kill? Didn't it just kill something? Do the little things only give health now? They don't actually do the... Wait, I think my my grow bits just went up. They are going up. Okay, so so maybe now, <laughs> maybe now instead of stuff dying, you lose nutrition. Like the nutrition just automatically regenerates things or something, and then you can kind of get these little bits to regenerate. I don't, I don't really know how this this stuff works. It's never really been explained how what you're picking up is affecting things, so... Yeah, okay, so now it's it's back up to 10 out of 18, but it doesn't actually go any higher. I guess you have to only find, like, specific ones that actually make that go higher or whatever. It's kind of strange, but... I guess that's the way it is. Stop. Stop. Alright, does that regenerate over time? Very slow. This is what I'm supposed to do, right? I <laughs> just kill this whole thing. And I think I think this one could like heal itself or something, which is what the little burst effect going on there is supposed to be 
demonstrating, I don't know. Running out of energy, I guess. I am using a lot of it because I'm 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 triggering three of these simultaneously, even though I'm only using one. <laughs> so it's kind of wasteful, I guess. Hmm. I kind of I kind of wish I don't I don't know what is the deal with selling things. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if you sell the parts. You do end up losing health, right? So it's it's not like free to just get rid of stuff and then get it back later. I don't think so. I can't quite figure that out. I guess maybe it is. Okay, so it's just I wish this stuff was just made clearer, because <laughs> it's not a uh, it's not obvious to to figure this out with the way the numbers work and everything. So it, it seems like it's really important to know, like. What do I have the freedom to do and such? So I, I, I'm just gonna assume for now that I can actually do this, and let's use some movement doodads. I don't think. See, so what I really want is to have like two of these, right? Wait. Oh shoot! I can't rotate it. On. That stinks. If I could rotate it on one of these points, that would would have been great because I could have made it kind of face forwards more instead of. A little sideways thing is not not ideal, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's a little bit annoying that it's it's like this boss seems to want me to. Oh, I guess maybe maybe I could have just attacked the head of it or whatever instead of going around like this. Although that's kind of dangerous apparently. So hmm. all right, let's just do it this way. I don't want to exceed the nutrition capacity though. Maybe I can... these do not stack on top of each other. This won't stack on that either. And if I can do something like this, do I still fit? Uh, I... I can't... oh, I can move this around. That's helpful. Okay. I think that's too big. <laughs> okay, this is... Alright, yeah, this boss is kind of funny, just how restrictive the space is in here. Um, I guess it's hard to do this without... I don't know, this is silly. Because I don't want to lose the food, that's the thing. <laughs> so, I feel really silly doing this, okay. Um, wow, okay, so a lot faster, but a little wonky in the, the way it pivots around the head. Oh no. Yeah, there's a little power up here. I guess there's not really any benefit to necessarily killing every individual segment if it's already knocked off from the rest of the body, because I don't have... It doesn't seem like you get any permanent growth food or whatever from it. Oh, come on, do something. Up. Oh. Alright. I can't back up. I don't fit properly. Alright, I guess I got another power up. It's gonna make me attack faster. Uh oh. No! Do not do that. Burned out all my energy though. Ah! 
Does that re there's some kind of regeneration stat, so I don't know if that is going to like regenerate my health. I can't actually see the health meter keeps disappearing for whatever reason. So I can't see what's happening to my health on the individual segments. Like if it's regenerating or not or whatever. Or maybe the regeneration stat it like only applies when you pick up one of these thingies. Oh my gosh, it looks like wow, whoa, blah, blah, blah. What what is going on? Ah uh, Don't stop stop moving weird for goodness sake. I'm just trying to stand still. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just trying to stand there still and I start like my whole body starts spinning around weirdly. Uh, but it looks like we get power-ups that just like respawn around the edges here. Uh I guess it's gonna be nice, and I can get more health back, I guess, from killing the segments. Alright. Oh, well, I am not getting health back. How does this. Okay, so this refills, but my, my the health on my segments isn't refilling. I don't I don't understand what. <laughs> what is going on here? I don't understand how this meter is linked to my health Because it seems like when I take damage this goes down and then I pick up the little orbs and it goes back up, but but The actual health of the segments isn't going back up. So I don't I don't know what's going on And yeah, I made this so awkward the way that it Tries to rotate around the mouse Oh wait, I think it just regrew this darn thing. It took so long for me to kill. Oh my gosh, that, that happens pretty fast. Come on. Oh no, it reabsorbed. <laughs> it reabsorbed the, the thing from itself. Oh, this takes so long. I think that's the head right there though, right? Die, you fool. All right, yeah, so, um, it also, even the head itself doesn't really stand out from this. I wonder if you might want to tweak the visuals a little bit or something to, ouch. I guess I can kind of dash into this. Wow. And things must die faster though when it's already dead though, right? And they just take one hit. Yeah, that must be what happens. But yeah, it, it's really hard to actually see the difference between the different segments and and uh, the fact that there was like a little head here that I could kill. I basically only know that from, from playing previously. Oh, they do decompose. It just takes a long time. I think you could speed that up considerably. Probably be nice. Uh, but yeah, that would that's all stuff that I think you want to get across to the player and... It, it, even just looking at it, I think you should kind of be able to tell by looking at it that there's something different in the center there, <laughs> which I, I couldn't really. Um, so we got grinder and pusher. This, wait, oh, so there is a pop up, but it, you have to like hover the, the mouse with a lot of accuracy before it shows up. So that's, I'm gonna tweak that a bit. Okay. <clears throat> Making their attacks more piercing. Push enemies or objects away. So this gives you a new ability. Whereas. This gives plus one penetration. X neighbors. Alright, so the thing that's a little weird about this, this kind of stuff is that. I kind of wish these things that affect the neighbors could attach to more than one. Or you could attach more than one of them to like a given thing, like like little spike. What is, what is it called? A spear or something. Um, so I just picked that up. I, I actually just like <laughs> looked away from the screen and like itched myself for a moment. And uh, just ran into that unintentionally. Um, I don't know if you might want to have some, like a button confirmation if you want to pick that up or something. But, uh, yeah, so... I 
do wish you could do a little bit more combining these things in different ways here. I guess I'm still this, this wonky thin whatever, so I should probably... So yeah, like I, I have to kind of choose between like, do I want it to have plus one power or like plus one penetration? Um, I don't know. This also adds regeneration efficiency, which I don't know what that even is. Is it the energy regeneration? Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Also, it's it's hard to, harder to see the zoids when there's all this junk on top of them in the build mode. This is not a big deal, but... Um, I don't know. I guess we just go back to the old, like... I, I kind of wanted this thing though, right? Okay, okay, okay. So it does, the number for the selling them does go up. It does scale appropriately. All right, so. All right, I can sell them whenever I want to, as long as they are at full health, I guess. Uh, I don't know how the health even works currently, but that's okay. We've got these guys. Wait a minute. Well, <laughs> what's going on? Nearby. Oh, oh, okay. So there's a different language here. That's important to know. So I thought that this was the same as this, where it's the adjacent, what, what is the neighbors, I guess? Um, well, it does say neighbors, though. Affects neighbors with sharpened. But you can't, you can't attach anything to them, so that seems to suggest that neighbors mean something else, as opposed to directly attached to. So, yeah, I, I don't know what neighbors means. That's kind of an important detail. <laughs> That's important to know in order to, to understand how to, how to build these things. Is this being sharpened? Yeah, it has 2x sharpened, plus 2 penetration. So I don't, I don't know how the neighbors thing is determined, but it's working, I guess. The only thing is I can't... Wait. What if I do this? Is it still... No, it's not being sharpened. Wait, it's sharpened. Okay, now it's not sharpened. It's hard to find the, the list of numbers here is so long, it's hard to find where in this list the whatever the important detail you're looking for is. Um, but yeah, apparently if it's attached to this, it's like one off from here or something that counts as a neighbor, I guess. But I don't know how that works with these, for example, when these say um, affects neighbors with acidic metabolism. Does that mean if, like, say this thing is one off from, from here, like that, does that count as a neighbor? Acidic metabolism. This provides acidic metabolism, but I don't see acidic metabolism on this, so I don't I don't understand why. Like, it, <laughs> are you are you changing what the word neighbors means in different contexts or whatever? Because that's kind of important to have um, consistent language and stuff. So I, I don't really know. In any case, it looks as though um, uh, I don't know. This is a little awkward because what what I want to do is like this and build like more spikes so they're facing forward because it's just so much more effective if they're actually oriented in the right direction but um as opposed to like this right because depending on what you're fighting this can like you can hit with more than one of these at the same time but it's just so much less consistent and i don't know how to overcome that in any other way um So I can do like this, and that might be... I, I don't even know what the penetration does, to be honest. I, I guess it kind of lets it go through <laughs> and hit things behind it or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's... Um, 
Not quite what I want, because I want to have... Wait a minute, I, I guess I could... Let's see, I, I think what I can do is... Do like this, and then... Like, attach this to that, and then this should be sharpened. But it's not... It's certainly a lot less efficient than if I had everything on... If I put two of these on this one, then, then I get three of these that get 2x the penetration without these two extra structure pieces. So it's like everything is better except for the fact that these aren't oriented the right way. It's kind of frustrating just how, how big of a difference this kind of thing makes. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. What? What? I don't think I need all of these anyways. Why is this junk hanging out over here? I guess that's just sort of like a little... Might count as a bug or whatever. I guess that's going to disappear as soon as I go out of the grow m menu here. <clears throat> um, that's my head. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, that's a little annoying, but... I don't want plenty of movement, but... Um... Like, this is kind of nice, but I don't know if it's going to be more frustrating than anything. It's kind of weird how these have the dash ability attached to them. Uh, I, I, I think it like increases the dash but I, I know that you have dash on your head piece here so I guess as long as you add more of these you get it kind of stacks or whatever but I don't, I don't, I don't know it's just kind of weird to have like you have an innate ability to dash with your breed or whatever but then these also have the dash listed as an ability I don't entirely understand why that is <clears throat> uh, so yeah it took a long time, but this looks kind of nice. It's just, I hate how spread out the attack is. It's Why can't I go... Wait. Why can't I move left? Uh, why can't I move to the left and to the right? I don't understand. I can move towards my cursor, which is fine, but these are supposed to let you move in, in all directions. So I don't understand what's happening. I'm very confused. Got some more DNA. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know what's going on with the movement. really annoying to be honest um because it's like <laughs> okay it's, it starts to feel kind of like tank controls you know you have to point yourself in the direction before you can move in that direction which would be fine except that i have to kind of approximate that direction also with the the wac eight directional input in order to move that way it's not like i just hold w and i move in the direction i'm facing which is what would make sense in this kind of situation so i don't know what's happening here maybe it's just a bug of some sort Maybe it's something to do with this configuration, the way I built this, but that doesn't really make sense to me. Um, I don't understand. I, I, I think there's a button that you're supposed to be able to stray for something, but it was like shift or whatever. But I'm not actually pressing that, so I don't know. I, I tried pressing it to see if it made any difference. I don't see it doing anything, so... Yeah, my movement is like completely bonkers right now. I don't, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I don't... OK, 
Okay. Seems to work. <laughs> Why? Why is, uh... I don't know what the deal is. Is there some weird physics going on where there's a drag or something on the, on the individual pieces? Like if I do this... Now I can't move left and right as much, I guess. So I, I guess there's some kind of some kind of physics drag. Like I can kind of understand if you have this long extension out here that you, that it's gonna drag when you try to move this way as opposed to this way. But I had no idea. Why is this all red, by the way? You have lost wealth eating. When did I lose wealth? I don't, I don't know what's going on. But yeah, this is not very intuitive, and it was never explained, and I don't particularly like the idea of having to work around that. I have no idea how to do that, to be honest with you. Um, it just seems to kind of drastically reduce the way that you can build, which already felt kind of restricted in the first place, to be honest. That's kind of what I was talking about before, uh, but I don't... I guess you could put more of these somewhere. What happened to all my, my money and stuff? I didn't remember taking damage or anything. My, my, I guess it's called food, but... Um, apparently M1... <laughs> these keybinds change themselves, so that's annoying. I guess when you, when you sell off all your pieces, the keybinds you had set change. And I think that's definitely something you don't want to have because I don't want to have to reset this every time I rebuild my, my little body here. It's very weird. Uh, e is just empty right now. I don't know what the deal is there. I don't know what's going on. There's probably some bugs in here. There's a lot of downtime when you're when you are uh, paralyzed like this. Um, it kind of makes sense, but on the other hand, the fact that some of these enemies can just do it to you over and over and over again. You end up just having a lot of downtime sometimes. I don't know what's going on with the food, and it's pretty weird. Don't stop eating me! Ah. They're fighting each other. I want to eat them, not you. Oh crap. I like feeling a little bit more nimble, that's nice, but I'm pretty weak, I guess, in terms of offense. Ah! I feel like I should be able to outrange that a little bit. I, I guess my offense is now destroyed. For whatever reason, I only have three. <laughs> I don't know why it's like, this keeps going down, now I can't build anything. So now I can't defend myself, I guess. Or I can build a squirter. It's always nice, or I can, I can sell a couple of these, I suppose. And um Oh, this thing is still there. We'll new use nutrition to regrow automatically, okay. What if I don't want that to happen? I guess there's nothing you can do about that. <laughs> um like if I want to change the structure, I don't know, maybe if I build on top of it or something. Oh. Apparently, okay, so it got rid of the automatic thing when I when I move something even though I didn't actually move it to a different position. <laughs> Um, I wonder if you might want to do a check for that, like if, if I just move it back to, if I pick it up and then just put it back where it was, that maybe you'd want to leave that there. It's a little detail, but, um, yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing right now. It's probably not good to leave that exposed, but... I 
don't feel like I've actually earned anything here. I'm just kind of got all messed up in this floor for whatever reason. No. That was, that was lame. I wanted that. Alright, got some food. This is so inaccurate. It's like I'm losing some frames here. It's kind of weird. Would help if I had the exclusive full screen mode, actually. I haven't seen this guy yet in this run. Yeah, so I've, uh, I think the last time I, I played tested these, or the last times, uh, it always went really slow like this. <laughs> I was just kind of fumbling about and not really getting anywhere uh, and making the video super long. It's probably pretty lame to watch, but I think it's just kind of the nature of the game, to be honest, that just kind of lends itself to that. And Like a lot of weird little details that I keep stopping to talk about, I suppose, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there are people who have played this a lot more who, who have a deeper understanding of all these little things, but you kind of have to... Of course, you have to teach the players those things. Um, I don't want to have to like go into a forum to read, read about all these weird... Like, edge case details and stuff. No, I think I need to... Oh, okay, so I have 16 out of 16, so I can't pick these up currently, I suppose. I don't know how to... I actually don't feel like <laughs> building anymore right now, to be honest. I get a little tired of this by now, because I don't really know how to configure things. It's a little confusing to me, like, what is and isn't more optimal, I guess. Um, I guess we don't have the eater things that we had before, which is nice. So I think those are a little bit annoying, but um, this is probably less than ideal. But yeah, I think it'd be really nice if I could rotate these. It can make so much nicer configurations like that, I think. I don't know how much the penetration is worth because I don't know enough about the game. But it seems like it, it would have to be pretty valuable to incorporate these. Mm. Well, I, I guess if it goes through a zoo, it can kind of multiply your damage in a sense. So I guess that would be pretty powerful. Like if you can get sort of like effectively double the damage. Um, yeah, because the fact that you can't like attach anything else to these and they don't really have any other function or whatever, they just kind of add bulk to your design and stuff. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> it seems like it would have to be pretty good, but I guess it kind of is. Uh, maybe I want to just like shove a squirter in here. Maybe that'll work. That's on E. I guess the flex thing needs to be something else. Put that on Q. I don't know how the flex actually works. Wait. I think I think I can tell it's it's like more or less rigid when I press Q now. Yeah, I can definitely tell it is. Okay, so for whatever reason before I couldn't I couldn't notice that. Um, I don't know what the benefit is of that. <laughs> to be honest, oops, that's the wrong button. Wait, is it not working anymore? And now it's working? Very confusing. Alright, again, getting the funny business, so I can't like move left and right now because of this configuration. It's really weird. Very weird the way that that works. I don't know, maybe if I like... <laughs> okay, well... Now I can move left and right better. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's strange. Uh, and of course, there's always the issue of like the bulkiness is always kind of a problem because, oh my gosh, I probably shouldn't have messed with this thing. 
Um, because it's harder to fit in places when you get bulkier. So it's like, I always want to be smaller than I... I always want to be smaller, but I have to be bigger in order to be stronger. Like, more powerful, so... Mm, I don't know. Ah! No! I can't run away. <laughs> oh my gosh, now I'm freaking disabled. Uh... Gosh, that guy feels really strong for how small he is. <laughs> you can do it. I'm stuck. I can't fit through there. So yeah, I mean, that's so annoying. Just the the whole element of the game. Like, you always get bulkier and you try to build yourself up. But then you just can't, like, fit in between stuff anymore. Um, it's pretty annoying the way that the game kind of naturally lends itself that way. So, I mean, before my my su suggestion I made a long time ago was that uh, you could focus a lot more on, like, um, individual zooids uh, sort of getting more and more powerful rather than just the progression being based around building yourself bigger and bigger because the levels don't seem to be made to really fit bigger sizes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it just becomes a liability really fast. I don't really know how to fight these guys, to be honest. I can't fit through here. This is such a small little thing. So none of this is the nutrition stuff. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. I kind of... I don't know, I guess these sacks just never have nutrition. They just always have power-ups. I can't even see what I'm picking up, you know, I mean, I can kind of see this. I think I have a speed effect and then maybe the green stuff is like regeneration or something, I don't know. What's the green even? Damage power up, range power up. Oh, do these stack? I'm all the way up to like 90 seconds. That's interesting. There's like a lot of them. I can't even find anyone to like kill here. Oh, I got a little bit lucky there, I feel like. Some spazzing things in there. <laughs> I can't see what's going on in here, but I'm gonna try and kill him. Doesn't look like he can... Oh, I guess there's two of them fighting in here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think he's kind of pinned in here. Oh. He's dangerous. Alright. Are you eventually going to die? I forgot about my acid. I keep forgetting about the acid. It's really hard to... to remember that. It's just easier to hold the mouse one. All right, so we're getting more DNA. Um, gradually getting more of the food or whatever. That guy's got a ton of power-ups too. Uh, he's like as strong as I am, kind of. Oh my gosh, he's gonna wreck me if I'm not careful. Okay, got his little head there. Disabled. I'm still disabled. <laughs> I got one little pokey thing. So I feel like I'm really slowly, like right now I'm getting wrecked by this guy and I don't know what to do about that. I'm really just gonna die here. Wait. Oh. Should have used the acid again. I just forgot about it. Um. Wait. I got it back. I guess it regenerated. It 
So I got these little things around the edges, but I think these are just going to be power-ups or something. Oh wait, that's not a power-up. That's actually kind of important. Okay. <laughs> I like how he kind of runs away when you poke him in the face. It's like, oh crap. That actually hurts. Even though that's like actually kind of really bad for <laughs> the type of zoo it he is to to run away like right when he gets in range, you know. Um, maybe it's better for the player to have AI like that. His little head! I want your head! He's fast. For goodness sake, this thing is so inaccurate. These light blue guys, I don't think I've ever seen them actually do anything. There he goes. I don't know what you can do, but... Oh gosh, darn it. <laughs> in theory, I could just like unbuild and go in there and then rebuild, but I just don't want to bother with that. Um, yeah, I don't... I guess I could do like this. I don't feel like I made a lot of progress here in terms of just the overall progression and growing and everything. Um, there's food just hanging around out here. That's nice. I want all that. Give it to me! I should actually use the acid. That would be a good idea. This, this thing shoots little whirlpool things, but I don't know what they do. That thing's so small, it's kind of annoying to have to hit that. That's right, eat acid, my man. You might be my kind, but I am hungry. I guess I'm getting the acid. Holy crap. And that little food. I don't even know what I'm picking up, but that's okay. Oh, the acid hurts. No. Uh oh. Wait. I, I guess that was spent regrowing the thing that disappeared. Holy crap, you guys. I'm messing this guy up. Ugh. That's right, walk into the acid. Walk into the acid. You can do it. I like the way he kind of wiggles around. I'm eating you. Come get it, boy. Oh my gosh. He's through. Don't pin me. No. 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 Don't do it. How many times can you spam the acid? Holy crap, it comes out a lot faster than I thought. It just kind of comes out over and over again. I don't know if there's much point to doing that, but... Wait, how did he just die? I wasn't even looking. He just died. Maybe it was acid. Um, hmm. So I guess I have all my parts still. My, uh... The relationship between this and the health of the individual parts is very confusing to me, but... Yeah, I mean, I guess the, the little green orbs are sort of like for healing or whatever. And replenishing that, and then the, the big ones actually increase the overall amount or something to that effect. A little confusing. Uh, yeah, my movement is really wonky again. power-ups. It's weird how you can just get like a million in a row though. They apparently stack up. Wait, where are the power-ups? Damage power-up. I don't know. Ah. All 
I was just kind of holding E and mouse one. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I can get bigger. Again, I don't really know that I want to. What are you running away from? You pick the fight, my dude. Um, I guess we just want to... Oh, there's food there. That's important. But I've got a lot of food here, and, and I don't know what to do besides just go down, I guess. I could... Oh, got another boss, it looks like. I wonder if... These cost a lot more than the poison things. I feel like the poison can hurt like a lot of stuff at the same time. I don't, I don't actually know what... What damage they do. I, I don't know what the 10 plus 4x is. 22 plus 7x. Uh... So I don't know if that that's damage or whatever. <laughs> um, I, have, I I actually have no idea what what any of that means, but I'd like to know like what the actual damage numbers are here, because I don't really know how to make decisions about this kind of thing. Like I can assume because this costs more that it would be worth more in combat, but I wonder if you just like focused on these, how much that would amount to in terms of damage. Hmm. I don't know. These have the penetration effect. I guess it's kind of important. Maybe it's the melee power, the six plus one. That must be the damage, right? So that does more damage, but I'm pretty sure these can just poison like a bunch of things simultaneously. Uh, but the other thing is it's supposed to do damage over time, so saying it does four damage doesn't really suggest what the damage over time would be. So I, yeah, I've, I just don't know how much damage this does. <laughs> I don't know. But maybe I should do this. This kind of thing can be nice too, I guess. It kind of screws up the range, doesn't it? That takes a lot of energy to use the attack. What is how much does it take? Maybe that maybe that's what the 22 plus 7 is. That must be what that is, because it has a little kind of lightning lightning bolt. Um so I guess that takes a lot more energy than these two. Hmm, interesting. I guess I could do like this. It's going to take even more energy. Um, yeah, they just kind of screw each other up when they run into each other. <laughs> it's not very useful seeming. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I can't fit more of these together, really. Doesn't work this way. Oh no, it changed to M1. So yeah, it's annoying when these change around like that. But I can just do this kind of indefinitely. Um, it actually leaves like a wake. This seems really dangerous. Like if something's chasing me, that seems like it'd be really strong actually. Uh, okay, interestingly, I can't actually get out of here unless I, like, physically move these spikes, I guess. So maybe I actually need the old 
things here. For the moment, at least. And I have to make myself smaller again, which is silly. <laughs> uh, I don't know. How, how are we going to do this? Like this, I guess, and then... Actually, if I'm not using... Oh wait, this is still in the way. For goodness sake. If I'm not going to use the spiky doodads, then I don't need the sharpening doodads. I guess. What happens if I just put these in the way of the big guy? So just run into them and take damage? So that's what this red thing is. I see now. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see what we can do with our squirty things. Oh, I can actually put more of these around the sides too, actually. Um, <laughs> which seems cool. I did take a little bit of damage. Okay, can I actually... Blech. Oh, I can't go in this direction! For goodness sake, the movement is so weird. I just li I literally can't go in that direction. What the heck? Like I'm I'm holding down and right right now. It's uh <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I don't know, is this, does this help somehow? Maybe a little bit. All right, guy. I'm pretty sure this is gonna mess you up real bad. Oh crap! Oh crap! It's kind of too close. Okay. Yeah, the movement is not great, but this looks really powerful. <laughs> At least in this particular situation. It's very effective. Wow, that, that killed the hell out of him. Oh, look at all these minor flail muck. I think the flail I remember. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so like the movement is so freaking awkward. Um, in addition to that, the fact that you're using the mouse to like try to read the different things because you're supposed to hover the mouse over it or whatever uh you can just sort of like weirdly move yourself into one of these completely inadvertently so i didn't even get to read it what any of those were because of the way that that worked so that's like really really obviously awkward <laughs> i don't think that's how you want that to, to unfold there um hmm. what did i even pick up minor can lay poisonous mines that explode that seems helpful with the current build I have, right? Uh, my movement's already kind of bad, but I don't know if that'll this will continue to make it worse, whatever. So let's see what this does. We got mine is on E now. Oh, it kind of shoots it out. Let's try that then. How many? I can just do this over and over again. Okay, they, they don't last forever. But holy cow, you can do so much of this stuff. Tectonic anomaly. Food. It's the red thing. Damage power up, okay. Well, I have to actually find somebody in order to make use of these. Area clear? That is very weird. I literally didn't see a single living thing. But yeah, I also didn't know that that was a thing, so apparently you can have area clear. <laughs> um, hmm. I think if it's possible to clear an area, you might want to at least give the player some kind of indication as to what direction the enemies might be in, because it seems like stuff gets really empty really fast. But that was very strange. I think these are all walls. I itch my nose here. Am I going to run into that? Yes. Hello, blue thing. Wait, I ran into that, but you don't run into this? These are like exactly the same color. <laughs> Hello. Do not do that. This guy is nimble. Oh my goodness gracious, die. Die more rapidly. 
Thank you. Give me that. Oh, he didn't even die properly. Why are his bits so small? Is that just part of his uh, species or whatever, where his parts get smaller? If they take damage or something like that? I don't know what you do anymore. I don't remember. I think those are all movement things. <laughs> it's just super fast or something. Oh wait, he's got oh, the, the mine things that I have. That's what he has. Apparently I, I took them from his species or whatever. Come closer. I cannot reach very far, you see. Well, this place is a lot more open, which is kind of nice. I guess that supports the bigger zooids better. Or the, yeah, I guess that you call it bigger Or The zooids are the individual ones, the bigger overall colony, I, I suppose. Are those mine? I don't actually remember. <laughs> Am I taking damn? Oh, I'm taking... Okay, so those are not mine. So I think you want to you wanna differentiate what the like enemy mines and, and other attacks and stuff are. Like that the acid and everything. If, if everything is the same color, I can't tell who's doing what here. That guy is armed to the teeth. Holy crap. Alright, I got some... Ah! Some health. No! Eat acid! I will win. I'm getting double teamed. I'll kill you too. Come closer. Oh, he's spitting out the mines. I guess my acid doesn't detonate the mines or anything, which is interesting. Ouch! But yeah, I, I really want to be able to see better what is and isn't belonging to me here. This is the end for you. <laughs> it does take a while, but it kind of kills everything at once, like after a long enough amount of time here. That's a big boy. Why is he so fast? All his mine things are on the inside. What the heck? Oh, there's, that's more than one dude? <laughs> what? This head just popped off. What the heck? I'm just gonna eat all your food, please. Uh, I'm confused. That's okay. I feel, I feel like things are progressing a little bit faster now that I have like a build that I sort of like, I guess, but um, I don't know, it feels like using the spiky things at all is kind of more trouble than it's worth actually at this point. I wonder if they're just not very good, <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Just such a pain to even, even use them to be honest, um, but sometimes it's kind of necessary I suppose. Poop. 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 You can kind of push the mines towards him, in theory. That'll work. Oh my gosh, did I take damage from my own mine? That's interesting. Uh, those are I, I feel like those projectiles are really strong Holy crap. Oh my gosh, that is so much damage No, he's so strong That hurts a lot. All right Yeah, once that <laughs> once that acid kicks in though, it just kind of wrecks him eventually
Oh my gosh. That shoots really far. Oh my word. That hurts a lot. That hurts a lot. That hurts a lot. No. No, run away. Use the mines. Oh my goodness. This is not a good situation. He, he only has three of them. Holy cow, those things are strong. Use the acid. Try the acid. He's running. Ah, I killed him. <laughs> it's really weird how... With this build, it's just like an all-at-once thing. Like, he's destroying me, he's destroying me. And then, like, all at once, all of his parts just explode. <laughs> I don't know what this guy was doing, but made this pretty easy. Thank you for that. Can I get these? Thank you. I guess I probably don't want to be next to my mines when they go off. Oh gosh, no. Alright, can you feed me some body parts, please? I'm worried about the health being so low. I don't understand why, like, the the grow meter down here, whatever, can be completely full, but my parts are all in, like, the red. It's really confusing. Gosh darn it, this guy's gonna destroy me. I guess when they die is when that goes down or whatever. Am I hurting myself with these? Oh, mines. Food. Come to me, food. Does it even make sense to stack up so many of these poison things? <laughs> like, do, does the effect stack at all? Or is it just like, um, if you're poisoned, you're poisoned? Is, it, is that the way it works? I don't actually know. Uh, should I just go down? So... Energy capacity... So if I want more energy, I need more structure zoids. Oh, I can actually squeeze these in here. That's interesting. I think that makes me heavier though, which is which means slower. I think. Which is kind of lame to be honest, but. Whoa. Okay, we got another boss type of thing. I don't know what. What am I even looking at? What are these? Can I destroy these with this? This doesn't even work. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's, it's really annoying to have to like equip the specific weapon in order to interact with some of these objects, especially because I kind of built my my build here around not not needing these now. It's kind of annoying. I don't know if the little mines. I guess that kind of works. What, what are these even? Holy crap, these mines are not helping. Do these just not work on these? They, they only bounce them around? They don't actually do any damage or whatever? Oh. Ah, oh, there's a guy in there. It's like, like an egg or something. really silly. Oh, I can just run them into each other or something? I just hit them with enough force? I don't really know what's going on, to be honest. <laughs> Open up, you silly things. Gosh, that is so strong. Holy cow. Why is that so powerful? There's only one of them. There's only one of them. Oh my word. Oh, look at all these. Oh, please just die for me. Give me some of that food. Uh, I'm running out of energy. 
energy. Holding M1. I'm hoping they die. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I'm damaging like a lot of them simultaneously, but... Um, oh my gosh, I think that mine just wrecked me. Oh my gosh, this guy is so strong with his bullets. I... oh, I just... all of my <laughs> things just died. Um, hmm. And I don't have any of this, so I can't actually... do anything with that unless... Ungrow for zero. Ugh. Um... Oh, I can't build that because the guy's in the way, right? Interesting. Is Oh, it's hard to see. I think he's still in the way. No! Oh my gosh, he just blew up everything. Okay, well... I am ahead with a couple structure pieces. That's fun. I don't think this is gonna work very well. I'm- wait, it's not- ugh, it's not bound anymore, gosh darn it. That's annoying. Just die. <laughs> Just die, no, my head. Alright, I got destroyed. Um, grade Wonderful Whale, alright. Yeah, so, alright, I've been playing this for a long time, right? Oh yeah, all right. Well, that that was kind of expected, I guess, uh, <laughs> from from past experience. But Ugh, this is lifetime sixty minutes, but the play test has been almost two hours here. So yeah, I think there's a lot of stuff that's still confusing about this. I think um, the health system is weird now. Uh, I, I can see some some bits that have been changed that I, I think are improvements, but it's all just kind of confusing now. Uh, so that would be something at the very least would be nice to explain more to the player and such. Um, I'm, I get the impression that these aren't very balanced, like the individual zooids, uh, like the, the, the damaging ones in particular, the, the ones that are most obvious, I suppose. Um, hmm. I don't know. I mean, the spike, I guess it has the... The sharpening thing. Oh, I did unlock another suit here. Interesting. So that's just permanent? That's cool. I guess. Although it, like, belongs to another speed or breed, right? So, um... Yeah, I don't know. But, uh... <clears throat> Wait, wasn't there another one I picked up at some point? Or is that a different run? I don't, I don't remember. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like the one that shoots the three things is like way stronger than some of these other offensive things, but I'm not entirely sure. I guess it's it's hard for me to say without more experience with the game. Okay, select adapted Zooid to keep. I don't remember getting the flak or the splitter or rattler. range to power two, but you shoot three of them and they go really far. Um, seems pretty easy to hit with like a bunch of them simultaneously. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I mean, you could see there's a, there's a bunch of things I was a little bit confused about here and there. And um, in terms of overall gameplay, I, I think it feels a bit slow for me. I think I... Uh, kind of want the action to, to move along a little bit quicker in a lot of these cases like sometimes there's sometimes kind of in the later part of the the play where it, it felt like it was going a bit better when I had a different build I guess it's just a lot simpler with the uh, these acid spitting things because I can just kind of hold the button down <laughs> when I'm nearby the, the enemies and it just sort of hits them um, it's so much simpler than, than trying to hit with these I guess but uh, I think overall I 
I think the action part of the game really kind of needs to be good for it to be fun to play, you know. Um, building is a little bit... I'm not always sure what to do about the building. It's just kind of confusing. But apart from that, I think it just needs to feel good. Um, just moving around and killing enemies and stuff, which I think is not necessarily easy to do, but with, with this kind of gameplay. But um, yeah, like like a lot of the stuff in the movement is being so restricted and, and wonky, and and things kind of not really being accurate because they're kind of wobbling around, stuff like this. Um, not being able to fit in the environment. I, I I appreciated how they kind of opened up more as I got along a bit further, but. Uh, um, there's still there's still some of the effect of where you just get bigger and bigger and you do your size does become more of a liability um, because there's such there's so much restriction as far as like fitting more into a small space there's not a whole lot you can do like that um, mm. yeah I'd like to be able to just feel a little bit more competent about like moving around avoiding attacks and like attacking enemies and killing them just being able to do those things more quickly and, and sort of skillfully instead of feeling like I'm sort of stumbling around as much so maybe there's some things you can do to kind of give the player a little bit tighter control um, maybe let them kill enemies a little faster It, it is hard when you have this sort of symmetrical gameplay where like the enemies are sort of the same strength as you are unless they're you know unless they have less segments or whatever uh, but I don't know it seems like a, a tricky game to develop but hopefully you found some useful things from this video um, if you want any more thoughts or, or have any questions for me or whatever let me know maybe I'll think of something later but uh, hopefully it was useful and I'll see you in the next video